So recently, many people have been commenting on my channel asking, hey, how much do you make on YouTube? Literally from YouTube by making all these videos. So stay tuned. I'll be answering exactly when I started the channel, how much I've made so far, how many videos I made, all those details. Namaskar. Welcome back to my channel. This is Aditya Soma a real estate agent, realtor, and also a lead sales representative with Win City Real Estate team. So if you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and smash the like button because here we're going to talk a lot about investing financial freedom through real estate. So like I mentioned, let's talk about purely about my YouTube journey so far. Uh, because, you know, in, in a lot of other videos, I talked about my investing journey. I talked about my sales as this real estate agent journey. But uh, for the first time, I'm doing this to really give you a, a deep insight on how much work it will take to make how much money on YouTube. I made my very first video on June 18th, 2018. Yep, it's been quite a while, close to three years, two months. Um, since then, it took me almost one and a half year to get monetized, which means in that one and a half year, I'm making zero. So, you know, that sucks, right? Like, so for having no income for one and a half year. But here's the thing, uh, you gotta have your purpose clear. So I was clear with my purpose. I was not making videos to make money from YouTube. I was making videos to generate leads for my, you know, sales side and also like help other real estate investors because, you know, it's kind of a selfish reason and along with a, a purpose. So that was the thing. That's why I was not really kind of looking at my income at all on the YouTube. But, you know, let's see, the exciting things started to happen from November 2019 because that's when my channel got monetized. So in this one and a half year, probably I made around like 35, 40 videos. But again, in the beginning, I was only making one video a month for I think almost uh, six months, I only made one video a month. And after that, I slowly started to make two videos a month. So I was not very consistent. So if you're someone looking to you know grow quickly on YouTube, maybe start making one video in three days. That means you're gonna have like eight videos in a month. So which means in five months, you will be able to have 40 videos. Um, but again, that was not my full focus. That's the reason. So that's the uh, kind of intervals how I was making videos. So now I'm pretty much making one video a week. So now I'm at four to six videos a month. So here you can see like in November, I got uh, monetized. And then till literally August 2020, I was approximately making just a dollar, <laughs> dollar a day. And from August 2020, you can see it slowly started to go up two dollars. So the highest was like seven dollars and then like five dollars, four dollars, five dollars, four dollars, like started to average around four dollars. So my channel kind of improved from 2020 to slowly coming into 2021. I was averaging around like six dollars. And there are a few days where I got pretty good views where one of the video got really hit. So there I got like one day highest was like $19. Again, so if you look at my total revenue, the whole lifetime is $2,341. I know it's not that much because I spent almost like $800 a month for editing, shooting and all those things are close to that, which was like, you know, I'm spending way more money than um, what I'm making from YouTube. But again, here's the thing. YouTube is one of the major reason where my sales business exists. So if you're a salesperson or if you're a business owner who is looking to get, you know, attention to your business, don't focus on YouTube income, but be consistent. There are days where my channel, like, you know, started to go down where, you know, the views are, are dropped. So here, if you look at the number of views side, if you just quickly take a look here, there are some months where there is crazy high views. And then there are some months like literally went down to like 100, sometimes even less than 100. 
now I'm averaging around 1000 plus views a day. Um, but again, if I, there are days where like I was not posting consistently, that's when the views dropped, that's when the income dropped. So that's not good because especially as a salespeople, we want our name, we want to be in front of the people almost every day possible. So in order to stay on top of the, you know, on top of your potential client, you should make continuous content. So that's one thing I learned. So now slowly again, my YouTube at 14,000 subscribers. So right now I'm averaging around like 150, 160 a month, which is still minus when compared to my expenses because I have a close $2,000 expenses on the YouTube and plus my time. And also like if you look at my YouTube subscribers base started to go up um, before like if we look at the 90 days average the whole last 90 days was super good but before that the number of subscribers was I was getting like approximately 100 subscribers a month now it went to 800. So to summarize this YouTube is a snowball effect so it will start very slow and start to roll roll and roll and get bigger and bigger but in order to continue that momentum you gotta continue to make content continue to understand how the algorithms work continue to understand what content that can get uh, more views that can get uh, more attention uh, where you can you know where YouTube can start showing your video as a suggested videos so you gotta constantly learn whereas you know if you're a full-time youtuber that's much more easier whereas for me as a salesperson now I gotta learn all those things so that's the reason I was growing very slowly but surely it's in an upward direction if you look at the lifetime span for everything views and my subscriber base so here the views almost consistently growing over the period and for watch time also same thing consistently growing subscribers same thing consistently growing from the beginning so on an average right you cannot look at like daily basis I, I would look at monthly basis yearly basis so over the period I'm growing so if I'm continue to grow definitely the views will come in the, the revenue will come in for now youtube is not my focus but if you if youtube is your focus just continue put that work in continue to evolve in your the way you make content continue to bring up new content to the audience so with that my final thought is especially if you are a, a, a entrepreneur uh, having a small business like me sales or uh, investing any other things where you're focusing on that business not the youtube just focus on providing a valuable content and do it in a consistent basis i'm pretty sure that will bring you success in and with that i'll wrap up the video thank you so much for watching the video till here and make sure you leave a comment below if you watch till here any questions any thoughts any feedback happy to hear uh, and also like you know what do you think if you're a youtuber what can i do to you know increase my retention rate my audience and all those things so any feedback for me please uh, Put it in the comments and smash that like button. See you in the next video.